Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. I hope you can hear me. It's starting to rain, so I might be doing a voiceover on this whole thing. Um, in a previous video of the uh, heavy duty wire binder, one of the um, one of the viewers asked me uh, if I can make a build video on it. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, I'll give you a shout out in the little thing down below. Uh, so let's get right into it. What I've done is I've already cut most of the metal. I've got a piece of square tubing, one inch by one inch square tubing. I think the wall thickness will be about an eighth. Yeah, it looks like one eighth. Uh, then I've got a couple of one inch by quarter inch uh, flat bar pieces already marked them out. If you guys want me to go through the whole thing in a video, leave it down below and uh, I'll change up the videos as, as needs be. So I've got the three pieces now, ready to mark them out. And then I've got three little pieces of um, eight millimeter rebar. This one, there is some issues that I want to fix. So this is why actually part of why I'm building the new one as well. So let's get cracking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by uh, punching all the holes, get them drilled. And uh, I'll meet you back at the bench once that's done so we can start welding. All right, so uh, now that we've drilled it through, uh, I actually hashed it up and made the hole a little bit too close to the center. This one we dr initially drilled an 8mm and this one a 10 but I had to ream it out uh, to get this little piece of rebar um, to sit a little bit further away. It, it, what it comes down to is, if you've got your nut at the end, uh, there wasn't enough space for the wire. Come on, focus. For the wire and the socket to get in between so i had to uh, take that out a bit so what we'll do now is i am going to uh, plug weld these at the back and uh, this center portion i'm going to plug weld in the middle something like that let's get cracking Alright, so off camera I um, plug, uh, well you saw me plug weld it, then off camera I did some more work, finished it off nicely, uh, got everything right, so the next step would be to plug weld them together like that, so let's get right into it. Right, I'm gonna have this cool down a bit, uh, put a bit of flap disc on it, and I'll get you back at the bench once we're done. So what we did was we cleaned up uh, everything nice and neat, or semi-neat, that's a bit of a working tool. But next up we'll be welding on the nut onto this little center portion that's gonna screw in, in between there. Uh, I just put a bolt in just to keep it in place, so we're gonna tack it on, uh, weld it on, get it done, and then what I've done is I've cut three little pieces of 20 by 5 millimeter, four and a half, flat bar and that will basically form the outside edges like that so let's get cracking on that and get all of that in place for us and then we can carry on with the rest looks a bit skewed let's try the other end this thing is 
cleaning up the good stage. this cool down take it off get the threaded rod through a piece of old thread through and take it from there cooling off there we can start on this little side here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld these on like that That one will then slip in there. So let's get this crack. A wee bit of grinding required. So now I've put this little piece, center piece in here, uh, I haven't cut it off and made it neat yet. First of all we're going to make sure that everything fits and runs correctly. So let's weld this one on here, like that, and then we take it from there. Just a little washer on that side and a nut on that side. Oh, this thing's getting a bit hot now. And now I'm just going to plug weld the nut on there. Gentlemen, and there we have it, uh, finished product. The difference between this one and the old one, as you can see, is on the top section. So how this one is work is you just get a little piece of wire. So instead of trying to get it over and through and then around, um, this one is going to work just on the concept of you just bring it over and wind it up and uh, it should then not slip if it does slip you just make a little uh, thicker the wire the easier it'll slip so if you've, you've got a really thick piece of wire that you want to use as a clamp uh, bind it up around a few times and just pop it through like that and that's going nowhere go through your pipe old story if you want to see this working, uh, click in the link up top, uh, I'll put it in here and you can see the whole working of this one. Uh, it works on the same concept. So, And there we have it, our little wire binding tool. This one I think, uh, you aren't still come, but I don't think you've got one in your toolbox. So you better come over for a cup of coffee because this is going to your house. Uh, and with that I think I'm going to call it, gentlemen, thank you for watching. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, as always, stay safe.